Hello Spook Clips, welcome back to my channel and if this is the first time you're seeing my face, welcome to my channel. If you love anything to do with the paranormal then this is the place for you. Hit subscribe because I'd love to have you. Okay, so Thursday videos tend to be a ghost story. So if I have a ghost story to tell, then there will be also a video on Thursday. Obviously, every Monday so far, we've been having ghost investigations going up where we're going out and doing ghost investigations. But people have been sending me their ghost stories and I've been uploading them on a Thursday, which is a really cool additive throughout the week. Now a few weeks ago I did a ghost story of the man at the end of the bed. A lady anonymous, anonymously sent me her story about her daughter. It was such a creepy but yet sort of nice ghost story. I don't really know how to explain it. Um, at the end when they thought who it could be. Anyway, you go check that video out yourselves, guys, because it was amazing. Um, but I definitely go check that video out before you before you watch this one because this one is tied. Now, the lovely lady that sent me the story about her daughter, well, her daughter actually contacted me herself and she furthered her story. Now, this story doesn't seem to be as nice, and I have read this story, I'm looking at it now, I've read it a few times, and it really creeped me out, and girl, I don't know how, how you coped with, with this, I, I really don't. So sit back, grab your best blanket for it, guys, and listen in. Let's tell the story. So I'm just going to read it off as she's told me it, so I'm just going to read it straight off the message she wrote it in. Um... But yeah, she does say that she definitely wants to start sharing some of the stories with us. And she's glad and grateful that I'm building a space where it feels acceptable to talk about these things. So guys, it, yes, if you would like me to, if you want to send a story in yourselves, my socials are linked in the description of the video, every video. Um, pop me your story in a message. I can do it anonymously like this one. Or if you're not too bothered, I can say your name if you want me to. But yeah, um, you are welcome, darling. Um, it's not just about me on the channel. It's about you guys too. Everybody has a ghost story to tell. And I want to make friends that, you know, have experiences like I do and beliefs that I do. And it's just nice to have this space to be able to do that. So yeah, let's get on with your story. So in the message, she goes on to tell us, the only paranormal thing I have ever truly feared is a guy I call baseball cap guy. I cannot remember a time when this being was not in my life and I truly feel nothing but evil and bad, bad will when he is around. Unlike other beings that I have come across, he has never spoken or shown me a human face. He will just appear in my bedroom doorway and stand there. I always know when he appears because the hate and anger that come off him is so strong it changes the atmosphere instantly. Oh, In my room I always feel that someone is watching and I sus suspect it him but only when he full appears can I feel his evil energy. I have never interacted with him out of pure fear. Honestly, I don't blame you. Honestly, his presence is so overwhelming that it's hard to move or breathe. I have always felt very hot when he was around and I tended to associate him with fire. He is a tall man, well over six foot tall and has on a grey hoodie. A black baseball cap and jeans and sneakers. It's so weird that you can, you can see all this on him. I mean, you, you describe as a black shadow, but you can see the clothing. Like, that is insane, absolutely insane. That is like a really strong apparition. The few times I have attempted to look at his face, it has been nothing but a black void that felt like it was pulling me in somehow. Mm, I don't like the sound of that. He will stand in my doorway for a while and then just walk slowly across the room and out of the window. From my door to my window is a stripper line and he never falters. I have spent my whole life trying to explain what this man is because he's so different and truly terrifying from anything else I have ever seen. After some time researching, I found out that there had been a tragic incident in our neighbourhood where a man caught his wife cheating and set himself on fire and the home his wife and her lover was in and then ran on fire. 
back to his house but passed before he made it. The path of that accident lines up where our houses sit but our house was not built at the time. I tend to think maybe this is the spirit of that man but I am not fully convinced. Right, I am going to say this. I've had a conversation with her about this as well. Like I, I did obviously, when she said she felt hot, I instantly thought demon because they're meant to raise the temperature in the room. Um, but then obviously when she did some research and she found that a man had set himself on fire and passed from obviously setting himself on fire and wow just wow i mean is he is, is it a demonic is it demonic or is it this man is this man just full of anger still because of what his wife did to him and that's why you feel what you feel i don't know i'm not an expert in this but this is where we, this is a safe space where we can talk about this stuff guys we can talk about it together try and analyze it together if any of you that are on this channel are kind of do class yourself as some sort of uh, expert about this then comment um she'll read the comments obviously i'll read the comments if she misses the comments i'll send her a message uh but yeah i do find this story really really creepy and i did get goosebumps every time i read it i got goosebumps um this baseball cap man sounds terrifying and i kind of feel really silly now moaning about this boy that haunts me <laughs> it just really amazes me that you felt hotness like you felt hot and you associated him with fire and then did your research and found out that this guy set himself on fire and killed himself um but i can't i don't know i don't know if it's demonic or whether it is this guy because you know with what happened and you know why he killed himself it's he's still going to be angry he's going to be so angry do you know what i mean so it could be him he might not mean to scare you he just is where you are and he's just angry and you're feeling that presence maybe i don't, I don't know but what do you guys think to the story let her know in the comments thank you so much for sharing um send some more stories over if you want to and if any of you guys have any stories that you would like telling on the channel again feel free because i love listening to and reading out other people's ghost stories because we all find them fascinating but i'm gonna go now guys um thank you so much for watching thank you for hanging out with me thank you for listening to this lovely lady's ghost story um and yeah i'll speak to you all in my next video but until then sleep tight <laughs>